Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Nicholas and this is Major Crit and I just got the final ferry. Um, I realized that if I let the uh, hands catch me, they'd throw me back up here and then I could just shoot the pot from up here, put on the ferry's mask and draw it to me. So it was a lot easier than I thought it would. It only took me one try. Also a thing I realized back when I was trying to um, get everything figured out was that if you play the song of soaring while inside of a dungeon, this happens. You can soar to the entrance and go back outside. So we're going to do that. Uh, going to pick up a couple of fairies as well for the boss battle since we're, uh, well, don't have any potions, no nothing. Um, let's see, was there anything else we needed? I don't think so. Okay, can I just talk to you or do I need to hook you up back up to your back? What's wrong? Returning to shore? Yeah. It is not shameful to retreat. That in and of itself is a strategy. Alright, climb onto my back. Alright, so now. I could have probably just shot or hook shot myself onto his back from the start without talking to him. Uh, no. Uh. Come on. Yeah, I'm just really feeling the controls fighting me. I don't know why. Okay. So we'll quickly get this so that we can... There we go. Three of the wall. No problem at all. Azora's mask. But I think we can just swim around the back here, right? Yeah, I don't think we have to go through the thing. And, uh... Yeah. The fairy's fountain was up here. Well, not up here, but rather... Uh, eh. We really have to go all the way back to shore to get this. What a pain! Oh. Yeah, I think we did a pretty good job, though, of uh, clearing out the Great Bay. There might be some stuff that changes that we want to go and get. Um, once we've like cleared the waters, but I feel like we've done a lot, a lot around here. Gotta hold my tongue in the right place to make that work. Gotcha. All right, hook shot, to hook shot, to hook shot. I think I've got, I think I just picked up some bombs. We should be fine. I just remembered that we've got a, um, rock we need to blow up to get in here. That looks weird compared to most of the other rocks we've been blowing up, but you know. Whatever. Fire in the hole. Alright, what... What reward do we get? From the Great Bay's Fairy Fountain. Ooh. Well, I mean, why should I be surprised by that? Just does I'm used to seeing the pink haired ones all around the place. Oh courageous young one, I am the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. <laughs> what sort of strength? Oh, is that the double health upgrade? You get that in a couple games. You get the, the white border around your hearts, and they uh, you take half as much damage from things. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much damage as before. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Bye, lady. Right, sweet. Let's see. I wonder if that fairy in the pot has reset uh, since we came in here. Let's go find out. Is it 
gently swimming along. Oh, no, didn't quite get it. Uh, bottle. So that we're ready for it. Yes, there we go. Yep. Very nice. Always love to get a fairy. So with two fairies and effectively doubled health, we should be more than good to go. Alright, off we go. Back to the temple. And now... Let's see if anything's reset here. Hopefully not. Hopefully the water's still spinning in the same way it was previously. Or else... Well, I guess we just have to move some place. Alright, yeah. I think this is fine. Um, then we just need to go down to the bottom. Uh, why do I make life hard on myself? There we go. Quick shot gets the job done. Oop. Actually, no, one second. I think I got confused. We need to have the red going. Is the red going? Yes. Alright, cool. I just realized I was looking at the wrong, wrong water spout. The, the water spout that we jump on always goes. Um, it, it never gets turned off. Um, so I was looking at it going and just assuming that meant that the right one was turned on because it was going last time I came through here. But uh, that might not have been a case. But we're good. No problem. Right, but yeah, I think it was all the way back down to the bottom. Not through there. Never through there again. That's the most annoying room because it takes so long to get back out of. Just hug the wall. And we're through. Yeah, you can see the, the water flowing. We did it kind of in reverse order, but it still worked out. As long as everything's turned on, there's no problem. Just try not to fall in at the last moment here. All right, here we go, boss time. No pots or anything in here. All right, are we jumping down into into the water? Uh, kind of. That was a very light landing. What do we got? Fishy, fishy. Just, just come at me. Just come at me. Just come at me. Fishy, gargantuan masked fish. You're good. Bum, ba, da. Bum, bum, ba, da. If you go near it now, you'll be eaten. Aim at it from afar to weaken it. Ah, I see what you mean. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Probably it's safer to be on dry land. I was going to just try to hit him with my, um, my magic shield thing, since that tends to be pretty, pretty effective. Oh, okay, so that stuns them. Alright. We might want to try to hit him with the uh, old fish meringues. Fish boomerangs. Then, because I'm um, getting into the water and. Uh... Okay. Oh, and the boomerangs actually hit him like twice. So it does... No? Yeah. Okay. So which parts of him are targetable and which aren't? Like, uh, as in damageable, not targetable. Obviously he's got the one part that's targeted. 
Okay. Oh, we're getting... Sorry, I don't... Come... I hate how they force you to follow. Yeah, I wonder if I did have my shield up, like the magic shield, when he was doing that, would it do anything useful for me? Because these boomerangs, they worked real well the first time. his face we need to hit. Which is dangerous, obviously, because it's his face that, uh, that does the biting. And does the spawning of little fishies. I'm so glad we've got the double magic upgrade. We do have some magic pots around the room. Wait a second. Wait a second. Once I figured out what to do, that was so easy. That was so fast. If I just like jump in there and do that from the start, he's just got nothing on us. Um, all right. All right, I guess. That's how it's going to be. I'm, I guess I'm not going to complain. Um, that dungeon was much harder than the boss. You've got a heart container. Nice, we've got, a, I'm presuming, a full row, given that it's as long as our upgraded magic meter. You seize Georg's remains. You've just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Georg. Back to the weirdos. And the blurriness. Hey, listen. We want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely, you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Help our... Help our friend! Man, that friend came in super slow. I get it. We have to help the last one. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. Alright, that's three out of four. Only one cardinal direction left to go. No one can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times, and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. What might have changed now that we've, um... Save the day. Oh, this is just a shop, right? He's got a different dialogue. I'm mostly interested in the band members. But we'll see if anyone else... Oh, all right. We do have a change. How do you feel, Macau? We can't wait to hear you. Hey, hey, Macau, don't hang around here. Hurry up and start the rehearsal. Macau, what are you doing? Everyone's already up on stage. All right. I get... I get the message. Um, actually, let's go ahead and... So yeah, we still got some of the map left to fill out. We need to go see the final tingle. Let's go ahead. We know that this sets up the lighting on stage. I kind of don't want to shoot over these guys' heads. That feels dangerous. All right, the band's ready. The lighting's going. See, Lulu, can you speak again? Mikau, you came back safely. That's good. 
I was surprised when my voice turned to that lonely island into a turtle. With that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often, long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I'd forgotten it. I put you through some horrible experiences, me cow. But I'm all better now. Sorry, so, like it has the blue triangle down, like I can just press A and continue, but then it doesn't actually let me do that. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. One, two, three. So what type of fish is he supposed to be? I mean, I guess only some of them actually look like real fishes, right? Or like some form of fish. Like they are on the right, I forget his name. Kind of has a manta ray vibe to him. I know, whatever. I guess being able to sing is a wonderful thing after all. Hey, Mikael. That song Gavin wrote sounds just like the one we played at our jam session, doesn't it? Alright. I guess that was nice. A little bit of a wrap up. Optional wrap up for this area. Let's see, is there anything different? I think the only people there are to talk to is like the fisherman in his hut maybe has something. Um, but mo I'm assuming the pirates, you know, they're kind of an enemy force. Any mini games or things that have opened up? Now that, um. Yeah, because there. Oh, you know, we had the, uh. The Beavers mini game was already available. Uh, the pot breaking thing was already available. Yeah, let's just check, I guess, with the fishermen and then be on our way. Uh, maybe we'll. I'll poke my nose into the east. Man, I always just run straight into it. Um. Come on. So I'll poke my nose in, maybe get the map and get a, a owl statue, and then I'll come back, like a, like reset time and, and get going. Now, where's the fisherman caught himself to? You wouldn't be in this house, right? No. Hello. Say down by the beach, but since the beach is constantly spawning enemies, maybe he's over near the pirates. I'll check here real quick. I don't think he's over here though. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and check here because we know he was infatuated with the pirates, so maybe he's out, you know, peeking, peeping on them. Here's a boat. Ooh, will this boat allow us to... Ah! Okay, I don't know where this came from. There's a sign next to it, but we're already on board, so let's just get going. This will, I think, allow us to... Hopefully hookshot over there. Oh, and then there's torture setup parts. This might be a minigame that's been set up. Um, I wish I'd read that sign now, because it might tell us... Ah! There he is. Alright, cool. So there is a change. I was hoping that there would be something, something different, something extra. Once time had passed. Weird how it stays on target even when you move. Now that the seas are back to normal, we've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rubens, I'll invite you to a, a jumping game that has a really big prize. If you're up for it, go to that island in the center. Yeah, sure. We're sitting on 144 rupees, by the way. So, you know, may as well. Oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. I'm going to light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has a lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If 
you get 20 or more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize. But it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. How about it? Will we give it a try? Sure. Great. In that case, I'll start. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get a slight advantage. Oh, we can't put on our hat. Okay, now lucky I heard that one. Okay. I did not hear that one go off. Okay, I need to have faster reflexes. Nope. Okay. I wish there was a better camera angle for this. But unfortunately, um... I'm not sure how I would set that up. Okay. We've got actually a lot of... Oh yeah, if you fall, then that's that. You'll have to try again. Okay, good. We're teleported back up here. Alright, so it's actually not that hard. Um, let's see, how many do we need to get? It's mostly just not falling off, that's the thing. Because we had plenty of time left, it looked like. Yeah, um... Let's see. Yeah, get a point. 20 or more points. Get a big price. Alright. That's not too bad at all. See, if I could get my camera aimed so that at least I can see three of them at a time, um, that would really help us out. Uh, man. If I put my bunny hood on ahead of time, would that help? Oh, we might be jumping too far now. Well, we can't. We'll, we'll give it a try. we got plenty of cash. Well, we're definitely not in danger of jumping little. I thought I heard it there. Right. How much time do we actually have to start? Like, I'm trying to think if we're on track to win or not. Because the main thing that's been getting us previously is falling in the water. I'm definitely gonna, like, if I hit the 20, just stop, right? Run out the clock. Um, as far as I know, there's no reason to go for a score higher than 20. And, um, I'm betting that even if you've got over 20 points, uh, and you land in the water, then, yeah, it's negated. You get nothing. You get nothing. Yeah. Well, that was super easy. I'm guessing there's a harder mode. Let's just do... That's what I said. Let's just do one more. Okay, so over 20. And let's just chill out for 30 seconds. How are you guys doing? What's up? How's your day been? Leave a comment. Subscribe. I don't know. Whatever. What, what do people say when nothing's happening on screen? Um, yeah. Oh, well, it looks like our episode's actually running to the end. I did not think time had, that much time had passed. Well, I guess once we're done here, we'll finish it up. But see, I'm guessing it's going to be a piece of heart for a big prize. Let's find out. All right, that's it. Um, yeah, a little too easy. But we got a piece of heart. Ooh, and then assembled a new one. Alright, well, and he didn't even mention anything about uh, another prize. So, yeah, I guess we're done in the Great Bay, to the best of my knowledge. We probably missed a thing or two, but, um, not too bad. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and deposit my rupees, and then head out east, and uh, that's where I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Until then, bye.